sequence. Right around the world. Today's mission marks OneWeb's 17th overall launch, and it will bring their LEO constellation to 582 satellites in space. Now it's just about 20 seconds until the first set of satellites begin to deploy. Let's listen into the nets and keep our eyes open. OneWeb, SAT Alpha 1 and Alpha 5, separation confirmed. And there we go, confirmation of successful deployment of OneWeb, SAT A1 and A5. Looks like we did get some live video coverage of that. OneWeb, SAT Alpha 4 and Alpha 8, separation confirmed. Good news there, we did just separate another two OneWeb satellites, A4 and A8. Our next uh, payload deploy should be coming up in just about 45 seconds or so. So far we have deployed four out of the total 40 OneWeb satellites. And as a reminder, we have 14 total deployments in this particular sequence, so that leaves us 10 more satellites to deploy. And also, just as a reminder, the last four satellites may happen in the blackout period where we do not have ground station coverage, but we will confirm successful deployment of those on our next connection to a ground station. OneWeb, SAT Bravo 1 and Bravo 5, separation confirmed. There we go, two more OneWeb satellites, B1 and B5, have been separated. Getting some really cool views here of these payloads as they float off into space. OneWeb, SAT Charlie 1 and Charlie 5, separation confirmed. There you go, the next two, C1 and C5, have successfully deployed. Should be another 20 seconds or so until the next payload deploy. One web, SAT Alpha 2 and Alpha 6, separation confirmed. There we go, two more satellites deployed there. Got a great shot of those satellites floating off into space. A2 and A6 have successfully deployed. So our next uh, set of uh, satellites should be deployed in just about a minute or so, uh, but the next two deployments are expected to be in a area of uh, blackout, so we may not get coverage of them in this particular sequence. So far in this sequence, we have successfully deployed uh, 10 out of the 14 satellites, and so just waiting on those next four, but we may not get confirmation of those last four until a little bit later in the mission. Bravo 8, separation confirmed. Looks like we did actually have coverage of OneWeb satellites B4 and B8 deployments. So that leaves just one more set of satellites to be deployed in this sequence. So far we have deployed successfully 12 out of the 14 OneWeb satellites currently planned for this deployment sequence.
Looks like we have just about another minute before we deploy that last pair of satellites for this particular sequence. On your screen is a live view of the payload adapter. It's at the very top of the second stage. You can see those one web satellites. Confirmation of nine satellite deployments confirmed. So that includes the two satellites from the first set of deployments. One web sat Delta four and Delta eight separation confirmed. There you had confirmation of another two satellites deployed. So we did get confirmation of the two satellites from the last deployment sequence, as well as nine deployments from this sequence, including the one we just called out. We have four more satellites in this deployment sequence of 13 satellites with the next set deploying in just about 20 seconds. OneWeb, SAT Delta-3 and Delta-7, separation confirmed. Great news, you see Delta-3 and Delta-7 satellites have successfully deployed. Final two satellites in this deployment sequence in just about 10 seconds here. OneWeb, set Charlie 2 and Charlie 6, separation confirmed. Great confirmation of satellites C2 and C6. And those are the last two satellites of the second deployment sequence. With those last two satellites, that confirms successful deployment of all 13 satellites in the second deployment. And so far, we have successfully deployed 27 of 40 total satellites on today's mission. Our third and final payload deployment sequence should begin around the T plus one hour and 29 minute mark, but we likely won't have ground station coverage until three minutes after the third deployment sequence begins. Now again, if we're able to connect to a different ground station earlier, we'll be sure to bring you real time views of deployment, but we'll see you again in a few minutes. OneWeb Launch 17 mission webcast. Although we were expecting to start this final deployment sequence in the dark, it looks like we were able to gain connection to our ground station in Kodiak. Now, we may lose connection to this ground station in the middle of the deployment sequence, but should be able to regain connection around the T plus one hour and 32 minute mark. So let's tune in to watch these last satellites deploy from the second stage. And we did earlier have confirmation of successful deployment of E3 and E7 satellites. OneWeb, SAT Bravo 3, separation confirmed. More good news there, just successfully deployed OneWeb Satellite B3. Coming up in about 10 seconds or so, we should be deploying the next two satellites. OneWeb, SAT Delta 1 and Delta 5, separation confirmed. There we go. As you just heard, we did successfully deploy satellites D1 and D5. Signals. Now, so far, we do have 34 out of the 40 satellites deployed. And coming up in just about five seconds or so, we should have the next set of satellites deploying.
OneWeb, Sat Delta 2 and Delta 6, separation confirmed. And there they go, satellite D2 and D6 have deployed. Got some great views of them floating into space there. That brings our total to 36 deployments. That's only four left in the mission. We should be deploying the next set in just under a minute. Got some really cool views of space here. Our second stage hanging out. If you take a look at the telemetry in the bottom of your screen, we're still traveling at 27,000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 600 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. One web, sat Echo 2 and Echo 6, separation confirmed. There we go. Two more one web satellites have successfully been deployed. That was satellite E2 and E6. Now, coming up in about 20 seconds, we will have the final two satellites deploying. Currently sitting at 38 out of 40 deployments. OneWeb, set Echo 1 and Echo 5, separation confirmed. 40 OneWeb spacecraft separations confirmed. And with that call out, we can confirm successful deployment of all 40 OneWeb satellites, which will wrap up our coverage for today. All of us here at SpaceX want to give a big thank you to our customer OneWeb for entrusting us with today's channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Space Google Viser YouTube channel.